Welcome to RPA Hub. In this video we will discuss about UiPath Web Recording. Recording can help you save a lot of time when automating your tasks. The app slash web recorder captures your actions as you perform them on the screen and generates a use application slash browser activity with a series of activities inside it based on your actions. All user interface elements are highlighted while you record so that you can be sure the correct buttons, fields, or menus are selected. The recorder captures a default action for each type of UI element and also allows you to manually choose the desired action before performing it. The recorder displays a preview of the activities that will be added to your project in real time. The preview includes informative screenshots that are also added to the activities in the automation project. The preview section can be collapsed by clicking the recorded steps header. How to automate open the application or web browser page you want to automate. Let's practice with https colon slash slash www.rebaysamples.com slash unicorn name example. To open a new browser on every run select open browser. Here we have two text boxes and one button and finally we will extract the text and populate it to the message box. Now click on recording and select web recording. For entering value in text box select type in 2 when we want to enter credential select type password to hide the credentials and if we want to empty the field select empty checkbox. Now select the birth month and hit get name button. Post generating the name we will extract the text and populate into the message box. So. Once XAML will run it should show a message box with the name. Click app slash web recorder in the studio ribbon or press ctrl plus alt plus r on your keyboard. Depending on your configuration, this option could also be located under recording. The app slash web recorder window is displayed. Select different set of keys or generate automatic recording. Optional, by default, after you indicate the UI element to interact with, the target selection is made automatically. If you want to be able to add or remove anchors, remove and add the target again after indicating it, and confirm the selection before recording steps, select confirm every step. Even if you do not select this option, you can quickly enable it for individual steps in the recording. To do this, press and hold the shift key while you click a UI element to interact with or while you select an option from the choose action hover menu. Once opened, the recorder is ready to record actions. If you choose to pause it, you can click record record button to resume recording. You can enable object repository support for the recorder by hitting the object repository button, which lets you use existing object repository objects or create new ones when needed. Indicate the element you want to perform actions on by clicking it. Individual elements in the window are highlighted as you move the mouse over them. To record the default action for the UI element you want to interact with, click the target element. That's all from this video. Wanna learn more such interesting topics subscribe the channel and press bell icon for further updates. 
Thank you for watching.